Hey, what's up guys? We're back, a little bit belated, my apologies. Uh, we've been moving, moving the warehouses, so we've had a lot, of, a lot of things going on on our plate with the holidays, and uh, I know we were going to do a New Year's video, but better late than never. We're here now, and uh, we got some new products that I'm very excited about. These are the new caps we got in. Now, they're not totally new, but they're new to us. These are the new caps from uh, Cap Matches Color. Uh, we have the Wally and the Jiffy Cap. These are both, uh, from my understanding, are remanufactured from original designs from the 1970s. I'm, I'm familiar with these caps, although I hardly saw them when I was young because I was a West Coast kid and we had Don's Mobile Glass Cleaner for our caps. Very, very excited to have them in today, so we're going to go ahead and do some test sprays with them so you guys can see what they look like. I got two cans here. Both of uh, the flame orange synthetic formula that we have in stock right now. I have Telemagenta, one of my favorite colors, probably my favorite co color of all the pinks. And uh, what's this one? Crazy green, crazy green. Uh, my, my understanding is it's similar to the poison green in the Molto, so I expect it to be a little bit light on the coverage, but it's gonna be extremely vibrant and extremely colorful, and it probably will flare like a motherfucker when I put a fat cap on it. We will be testing these in just a second, but first, I would like to talk to you guys about fixing a, a little problem that a young man called me about. This is a problem that pretty much anybody can experience with these European paints. Like I said, they're highly pigmented, and by the time they get to your door, it's a good six months from production. So that's a lot of time for this product to sit and settle. And, um, and again, it's, it's something that can happen to anybody. But uh, it happened to a particular customer of mine who was rather frustrated, understandably. Uh, so I created a solution for him to help him out. This right here is a, a can of burner chrome that I purposely clogged up. And, and what I mean by that is this is a can that's been sitting in my stash for, it was, it was damaged in shipment, obviously you can see it doesn't look that pretty, but it's been in my stash for over two years. I didn't even shake it. I know it doesn't have a ball, but you still should shake your can. I didn't shake it, I put a cap on it, squeezed it and clogged it right up. And if you look closely, you can see all that pigment clogging up on the cap right there. So this can, fully locked up, doesn't spray. What do? This is what you do. Uh, what I did is I took a typical uh, red calligraphy cap and all you have to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers now you can probably do this with a, a black calligraphy cap as well, but I just happen to choose the red because it's the fatter of the two. So ma make sure you do not use your teeth because you will chip your tooth. Pull this out with the pliers, the little inserts out missing. Now the next step, take a little blade and on the inside of the cap we have what's called a stem slot. I'm sure you guys have seen these and wondered what they are. If on fat caps they tend to be a bit wider and the reason why is it creates a pressure difference that makes the spray much, much fatter. So uh, what you want to do is to create a situation where there's more pressure coming out. So take your, take your blade and just cut that little stem slot about double the size of what it is normally. Takes a little practice, but I know you guys can do it. You have it in you. I believe in you. So I'll go ahead and get this one cut and we'll go outside and we'll see if that burner chrome can will work and then we'll move on to the cap review video. All right, so guys, you know how burner chromes usually work. They spray like crazy. Check out this one. Completely locked up, will not spray at all. I can kind of hear it wanting to, but nothing's coming out. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this, toss it, now we're gonna shake the fuck out of this can. Because remember, I didn't shake it before. So we're gonna go ahead and shake it, give it a chance. Hopefully, hopefully. Now keep in mind, this does not always work, but usually it does. So we'll see if this actually unclogs this little beastie. Like I said, this can's been sitting for a long time. So we'll shake it upside down, tap it a little bit. Maybe gravity will help us knock loose some of that stuff that's in here. Oh, one more thing. Before you do this, it doesn't hurt to get your can at room temperature or above. So if it's a cold can, and this is another thing, cold cans tend to clog up. So try to keep your cans warm 
and uh, shake the fuck out of them before you go out and paint. Like I said, I try to repeat stuff in these videos, I'm sure you've noticed this, but um, you gotta drive the narrative, you know what I'm saying? Driving the narrative is where it's at. Anyway, so let me go ahead and shake this up. All right, so the can is uh, thoroughly shaken. Let's see if my invention works. Honestly, I don't know if it's gonna work yet. Let's get low so we don't sully this wall right here. All right, let's see. Oh! I am a miracle worker. I am like Jesus. I walk on the water, I unclog the cans. There you go, guys. Get yourself a 10 pack of those red calligraphy caps. Do what I say, and you will be on your way to salvation. Hail Jesus Christ of all the graffiti cans. Woo! All right, great. Now that that tip's out of the way, make sure you share that tip with your homies on Facebook and stuff, because I know a lot of people be asking about how to fix their cans. So please share our videos, like our videos, and be sure to subscribe to artprimo.com's YouTube channel. Because Art Primo loves you, and we love graffiti. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, I got two cans of flame orange. We got a lot of stuff in stock over the holidays. You've seen the stock tip before. It's a beautiful uh, pink dot Euro cap. Excellent on these cans. Um, honestly, it's probably the perfect cap. But people like variety and people like choice. So we're gonna we're gonna mess with these guys in a little bit, and uh, you get to see how they write. So first, um, let's try the big Wally cap. Uh, this is a beautiful classic design. Reminiscent of the 1970s, full of all that nostalgia and goodness. So what we're gonna do first is uh, is do the typical star, flare, swirl, dot, whoop-de-doo, you know, all the little 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 doodads that I do so you guys can see how the characteristics of the caps are in application. Not the most high piece of art, but a great way for you guys to understand how the cap works. Let's go ahead and start with a flare up. And again, I'm using a crazy green. And this is the flame orange synthetic formula. So first with just a simple flare up. Nice. As you can see, it's a little windy. It's blowing it over to the side. All right, next, let's do a little squirrely. The feel that I'm getting from it is a uh, very reminiscent of like an old school um, European fat cap. You remember the ones that kind of looked like the Rusto fat, but they were actually a Euro fat cap? These kind of remind me of that. They give you a nice, soft, wide spray with uh, excellent, excellent flare characteristics, I should say. Fading and whatnot. Very, very happy with it. All right, let's do a little star. Like most fat caps, like most fat caps, the line is going to be very thick and not very precise. But this is a cap for tagging. And as you can see, it flows just like an extension of your wrist, if you will. You know what I mean? Just like an extension of the wrist. I rather like it quite a bit. All right, we're running out of room here. Let's save a little bit of room for the, the Jiffy Cap. Named after Jiffy Oven Cleaner. Now, if I remember right, I think this one sprays a little bit fatter. Here, let me give you a close-up of that cap right there, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? Looks like something out of the, out of the 70s, right? All right, let's do a flare up. The spray is much softer at this cap. Oh my God, it's so soft and controllable. Oh, it's like sex. Watch me do like fat to skinny to fat. Isn't that cool? Think about the creative potential that you can have with this cap. I will have to say, this is much more controllable than the Wally cap. As you can see, I can get very, very fine lines with it. Um, very, very fine lines. If you just barely, barely push the cap, you can get very, very small detailed lines. But if you pull it out fat, you can get that nice spray. 
This, to me, reminds me a lot of being in the 1980s using a Krylon can with a New York fat. And those who from back then know what I'm talking about. Except you have even more control because the valves are better and you have a much more comfortable surface to work on. Um, I'll have to tell you, if you just want to use one cap, like if you have can control and can do the thin lines and the fat lines, and you just want to use one cap for bombing, this with this is an excellent combination. You don't have to fiddle in your pocket for a bunch of crap. You just put this on and you go. You can do anything you want with it. It's a gorgeous cap. Oh, God damn, that's beautiful. Here, let's put it on the, uh, the Telemagenta and do a couple quick tags with it. Now the Telemagenta is a little bit of a thicker color, so the spray characteristic might be a little bit different. And you're probably wondering, this is the same paint. They should paint exactly the same. Well, when you have a thicker pigmented product, it's gonna have a little bit less of that flow. The thinner paints are gonna give you the better flares. And just the inherent nature of the crazy green being that light green, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. It's not gonna cover as good, but you're gonna get those beautiful, gorgeous, sexy flares that I particularly love. So let's do a couple tags with this. Like I said, a little bit thicker paint, but still the same product. So as you can see, it comes out much thicker, but still beautiful. Just, oh, God, I love this cat. Spiral. Woo! Loaded! All right, let's paint a little uh, cube. Not my best cube, but it'll do the job. Do a shadow under it. Uh, all right, we'll do a couple quick tags. Look how thin you can get when you rock it quick. Right? But if you go slow, You get a nice thick line with this paint. Now let me switch it back to this one. Here, let me, uh, we'll move over to the other side real quick here. Again, the crazy green's gonna be a little bit of a thinner paint, so let's try it out with the Jiffy Cat. Oh. Yeah. See what I mean by that thinner formula? The, thin, the thinner green gives you much more buttery flares. Look at that. Oh, React's kind of a sick name, right? I'm sure somebody already writes React, but I think it's a pretty dope name. Um, let me try it again. Again, the Telemagenta is a thicker formula. Even though it's the same brand, it comes out a little bit thicker. We'll see the difference. Still buttery flares, comes out a little bit slower, just a skosh, but it's still gorgeous. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Not too shabby. Honestly, guys, I, I'm, I'm playing with the Jiffy way too much. We should uh, go back to the Wally cap. I think the Wally needs some love. I think we need to give the Wally some love. Okay, the Wally to me, on this paint, is almost like using an old Rusto fat. It's not as fat, not as clean of the spray, but it puts out a nice thick coat. More concentrated in the center, you feel me? It's more concentrated like an old school Rusto cap. Speaking of Rusto. You guys gotta go back to the old valve system, now. Now, some kid was asking me if um, I'm being retarded on purpose sometimes. The answer is yes, yes I am. We're gonna fuck with the Wally with this uh, magenta again because, you know, 
just for good measure. Do a test. It's very interesting. Look at the spray pattern on this one. I'm, I'm going to attribute that to an inconsistency in the cap itself because it does happen sometimes. The last one I tested it didn't have this little blowout. You see that? That little blowout right there. Normally it's just a round dot. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's a, how the cap normally sprays. So it's probably just a little inconsistency. My dude Putin. Woo! That's my homie. Putin. I want my money. Give me my money. Putin. Give me my money for being a Russian hacker. I'm a Russian, Russian hacker. Basically the bottom line is uh, if you want one cap to do all, I would definitely go for the Jiffy cap. If you like that old school Rusto feel where it's like not as fat, but you get a thicker, more concentrated line, then the Wally -E would probably be a better choice for you. Um, but that's for you to decide. And again, this is only on one brand of paint with two specific colors. It will react differently on different brands. And I will prove it to you right now. I got a can of Molotow Premium right here, and it has a, uh, a Wally -E cap on it. And this is the first, the first time I tried this cap was on a Molotow can, the Wally, -E, and I was like, oh. Ugh. This is a combo made in heaven. If you just like to tap, you know what I mean? So let's do a couple little squirrely squirts and in a perfect world, do your fills and doodads with flame orange and flame blue. Do your outline with Molotow Premium and you'll come back and thank me and you'll say, yes, Daniel son, yes. All right, well, let's fuck with this. All right, so this is Molotow Premium, right? Oh. It just comes out like a freaking death bray. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little review here of the Jiffy Cap and the Wally Cap. These are great little additions to your collection here, and they're available at artprimo.com on our website, so be sure to check them out. Uh, I hope this review inspired you to go out there and do some graffiti because I want you to have the best tools to make your voice be heard because you have a voice and you can use it, and no matter what you, what you want to do, Graffiti is always going to be there to give you the opportunity. So thank you very much, guys. I love you. Be sure to subscribe. Hit us up. And please respond to any... I'll respond to any questions. So hit us up on the comments, okay? Thank you very much. Artprimo.com. Yeah!